Hello, hello, hello. Um, this is a really quick tutorial on how to email out your first subscribers when somebody signs up to your list. As I had um, a little plea from one of my baby business schoolers going, ah, what do I do? And I was like, ah, celebrate. Um, so this is my MailChimp list and I have got loads of different lists. Um, which need to be cleaned up um, and I'm going to show you actually I'm going to yeah I'll show you this one that I don't really use anymore so this is my bump to babies essentials kit and what happens is when somebody signs up to your list you'll get the number up there and then you'll get the names and addresses down there and when you want to send out your first campaign you click on the campaigns tab and then you move over to the right hand side of the screen, click create campaign. Just stick, keep it easy, create regular campaign, and then you'll get a choice of which list that you want to send it to. So I'm going to go to the first list I ever created, Bump to Babies Essentials Kit. And once you have, just going to move me out of the way, once you've selected your list, you press next. It's quite intuitive, MailChimp. Um, name your campaign. Your list won't see this name, so you could say something completely random. Um, and then you need to put in your email subject. So test campaign for lovely. Um, and then you'll have where the email is coming from so that's what people will see and then the email address that you want to link your email to you can choose from various different templates about for the layout of your email i always go with one column because it's simple and i like to keep things simple and then you start at the top of the template and work your way through. You need to put something that way again. You need to put something in this kind of preview section, otherwise when it comes to saving and closing and sending your email, it won't send. It will say that there's an error. Please remember here. And then once you've finished in the section, you just press save and close and then if you want to include an image, you just click on that. If you don't have any images, and if it's your first one, you won't. All you have to do is press upload. And then it will take you to your file section. So I'm going to use my beautiful old lady. So you cannot work on the right hand side. In order to highlight the different areas of your email, you have to click on the left hand side and then you do the work on the right hand side. So, hello. Now you can personalise your emails by using the merge tags. So you could put if you put an email address there, it would have hello, the person at their email address, which isn't really advisable. Um, but you can put in their first name. I'm not sure what list name is, but generally speaking, it's quite nice to have the first name, unless you have an opt-in where you're only asking for the email address and then you put something generic in like, hello, lovely, hello, gorgeous, um, hello, whatever is appropriate for your target audience. And then um, lots of nice chat and valuable information. If you want to include a link to a download in your email, that is a really easy thing to do too. Or an external site where you don't want to put the whole email address in. You highlight the word that you would like to include the link in and then you press this button here, link. And then depending on where you want to send people, so I could send people to susieashworth.com. 
And if you look over here on the left hand side, that becomes a live link. Or if I wanted to send them to a download, I would change this to a file. And then I can upload whatever the file is. If you've got a big file that you want to include, then all you would do, I cancel this, is upload your file to Dropbox, click on web address, I'll show you. So if I wanted to upload that file, for example, I could click on share. I'd be given a unique URL, which I then copy. And then I paste that. into that and then love CD and then I save and close that it's always advisable to let people know where they can follow you on social media so you see Z underscore Ashworth Facebook CZ Ashworth 2 which is my baby business school page and then page URL, my website. So when anybody clicks on any of these things, that's where they would be directed to. If you are sending out an email that is not just containing information for your subscribers, <laughs> excuse me. Oh. You could also include a social share button. Why is that not working? Why does that not want to share me? Oh, yeah, sorry, you drop, drop drag and drop a block if you want to include something that isn't already in um, and so here all you would do is select the things that you would like to include where people can share tweet forward or your Google Plus whatever you however you want them to interact and maybe you don't want that block there maybe you prefer it to be underneath which actually does look a bit nicer, doesn't it? Save and close, and that's how it would look. So once you've designed your email the way that you want to design it, it says you're ready to send. Haven't included social cards, don't know what they are, never used it, and don't bother, I don't bother with monkey rewards. Now you can either click send straight away, or you can schedule it. So you could go at the 22nd and we'll schedule it for 8 pm. And then schedule campaign. Rock on, dude. So that is how you set up your first email campaign. Hello. I hope that is helpful. If you want any more information or more in-depth advice on how you can create ongoing marketing campaigns um, where you're able to connect with your tribe in a way that feels really authentic and real, then come and check out www.susieashworth.com forward slash the baby business school thank you au revoir Mwah.